Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm、uh, joined by a very prestigious guest tonight. I was told I'd be talking to like the hitman, aka Mr. Two Wrongs Don't Make a Right, aka a coast of I Want to Be a Fantasy Footballer, Shot Caller, Twenty Inch Bades on the Impala, Mikey Wrights. Welcome to the show, bro. Uh, it's, I think it's good to be here. But、no. yeah, I'm here. Yeah, well, the question is like, I was very uncertain. Like, I was trying to book like Mike Wright from the Fantasy Footballers, but I like wasn't sure if I was getting the correct Mike Wright. I mean, is there anything you can do to like verify for me that you are Mike Wright? Yeah, I, I can imagine you went to、uh, my Twitter accounts and you were. I mean, you saw there's there's a few Mike Wrights floating around on the Twitter sphere. A few with, in fact, a photo that that looks like me. So I can understand there's. There's some difficulty in knowing which one you're talking to. Yeah, no, it's like very confusing. I just wanted to make sure, and like, I'm not like much of a Twitter guy myself, but like, I couldn't help but notice, dude. Like, what's the deal, dude? Like, you don't have this blue check mark. Your co-hosts have it. Like, what's going on with this, bro? It's yeah, the the Twitter verification, my、uh, my history precedes me yet again. Of I've、I'm, I've been on this quest, this quest for Twitter verification because. Honestly,、uh, we all want that pat on the back that says, "Hey, you're you're a cool guy." And what 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 better way to say that than、uh, a social media platform giving you the their thumbs up, their stamp of approval? Yet I I cannot seem to get it. Well, yeah, we're gonna try to like walk through this and、uh, and see what we can do here because, like I said, I'm not a Twitter guy myself, but I consider myself. That's like, shocking. That's shocking that you're not a Twitter guy. I know, dude. I'm kind of more like a YouTuber, dude. You guys, you guys at the ballers, you're YouTubers. You get it. Um, but I'm curious, how many times have you tried? Because you have to submit this form, right? <laughs> yeah, you do. You have to、uh, shamelessly submit a form and explain to an unknown being of. Of why you are deserved of this thing, and it's it's a little bit odd, but I I've done it probably,、uh, I mean since it opened up, so I think it's we're going on like seven, maybe eight times that I've been rejected. I'm currently in review yet again. And did they send you like when you get rejected? Did they actually send you an email, or do you just like not hear back? So sometimes you hear back, sometimes you don't. I've I've had both. And is it like a a stock email or is someone personally reaching out and being like, "Sorry, Mikey, right?、Oh, so you、no. don't got it." No, they don't. They don't do that. There's there's no、uh, there's no reason. It's just a hey, dear Twitter handle. Unfortunately, we can't verify you at this time. And then just like I've the, I've had the other ones where you just kind of keep checking to see, well, is am I still in review? And then eventually it'll say, "No, you were rejected." I mean, it's it's like my.、Uh, I'm traveled back to my high school days of just nonstop rejection. Oh, dude, this is tough, and like it has to really twist the knife because you got two great co-hosts. You got Andy's and you got Jason's. What it, what does it make you feel when you know that these guys, your colleagues, like your peers, dude, that they they're verified and you're not? Well, it, it, it makes me feel like they're they're not actually my colleagues, and I'm just a guy who is on this lower tier, this lower lower level socially. You know that it's. It's like the hierarchy systems of medieval times, and they're they're up there in that royalty up there. They're in the big stone castle, and I'm the plebes. I'm out in the fields, farming,、uh, just trying to make a living. Meanwhile, they just you know they they allow me to be in their presence on on their prestigious podcast. Yeah, do they、uh, do they make you go to like、uh, clean the、uh, the toilets? Like what kind of like <laughs> tasks do they、oh, have、yeah. you doing? Yeah, I, I'm the runner. If, if, Jeez, when they they snap the fingers, they say chop chop. I'd like some PF Changs, please. And I say、uh, yes, thank thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you. So then I have to run out and get get some、uh, what is it the edamame. Exactly, dude. You're just like you're you're supposed to be a fantasy football analyst, and this is like turning you into an errand boy, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say that. And le- and I've seen like a lot of、uh, imposters have like popped up. A lot of people trying to steal your identity. Like this is a real problem that you need to get fixed. Yeah, yeah. There's I've got a legitimate screenshot actually once of someone who's you know Twitter gives you those. Well, you should also follow these people because you follow these other people. Well, they've started to recommend the my fake accounts, which I thought were funny at one point, but now I'm I'm giving followers. To these people who are me, but they're not me, but they are me because I can't prove that it's me. That's. I feel like you should like start a support group with Denny Carter's dude, and you guys can like bond <laughs> over like impersonators. Is is he trying? I feel like Denny would think it's just it's way too、uh, 
cool. I mean, his his nihilistic approach. Why even bother to get verified? That's true. No, I bet deep down, dude, like you're you're actually more authentic because deep down, Denny's wants to be verified, dude. I know. <laughs> we all do. We, we all, all do. do. We all do. So how has this like negatively affected your life? Have these guys like are people going to these imposters for like fantasy advice? And you're like, hello, I'm right here. Yeah, I've, I've seen them tagged in a, a couple tweets where Jason and Andy will get tagged. And then the one of the fake ones of my account will be inside the thread. I'm like, what? What is what is going on here? It, this it makes no sense. Of uh, uh, these these other two, it was good. I mean, they passed them through right away, and I'm here, you know, six to eight months later, still still scraping along, not getting it done. I guess I'm, I'm still a man of the people, though. So you are. I, I, I hold on to that desperately. You know, the man. I'm I'm in the streets with the common man. That is, of course, until my verification comes through, then I will elevate and I will ascend to, to Mount Olympus and join the gods of, of Twitter. As you should, no. If you you've if you get it, dude, you'll have earned it. But like I have to ask, because like I'm a I am am a connect the dots guy. I'm like a conspiracy guy. Like ideas, man. Ideas, dude. Like I'm trying to figure out what do they have against you, dude? Is it is it the beard, dude? Are they worried of, are they anti beard at Twitter? I there's there's a couple of conspiracy theories floating around. It's the beard Possibly the man bun. Uh, possibly when I said Devontae Freeman stinks, I uh, I got a, a high-ranking executive to drop Devontae Freeman a couple years ago. Mm. Hey, there's there's all there's there's a lot of a lot of things that could possibly be. Can I float like one like legitimate oh, like reason? It. Yeah. Are you at all concerned that Twitter thinks you're an actual hitman? Uh They they look at your username like your your colleagues are just like. You know, they're Andy Holloway, Jason FFLs. Like, it's very, you know, benign, very friendly. And then it's Hitman, dude. Like, that could be kind of, like, ominous I, to them. I, I wouldn't be a very good contract killer if I displayed prominently on Twitter that that what I do is kill people for money. Well, maybe maybe this is what's going on, dude. Maybe you're they're worried that you're an imposter of a Hitman, dude. Aren't you impersonating a Hitman, dude, with that handle? <sighs> I've... I've never thought of it that way, man. You're blowing my mind over here. I mean, like, what? That's, that's deep. That's what, deep. What if you change your handle to like, you know, I love Jesus, Mike Wright, dude, just to let him like, know, like, you're a good FF dude. FF Love Man. FF Love Man, dude. Like FF, uh, I'm all about hugs. Hugs, man. Yeah. yeah I mean, hug, hugs, man. Love, man. Uh, those could, those might be able to push it through, but, uh, you know, what's the, the quote, give me liberty or give me death, and it's give me my Twitter handle or go away. Because isn't that really the only unique variable here? You guys all work for the same successful podcast. You all have like roughly the same amount of followers. The only unique variable is this ominous hitman this in your true. URL, dude. I do believe that Kill a Mike, though, is verified on Twitter. And uh, that's, that's good it, it would, he would infer that he also enjoys to take life from people that's true <laughs> but i mean i guess he's the, the difference is he would not be accepting currency to to take care of it though well look like i feel like we've we've kind of set the table here but i'm not here just to like spin wheels dude i'm here to like problem solve and my goal tonight is to get you verified on twitter's i mean i know you've oh, done a man. lot but do you mind me trying to help you out here uh it, yeah, let's let's go for it, man. I mean, I'll you know the, the more the merrier. I'll take some help at this point. I'm struggling. I'm sweaty every single night thinking about it. So I'd, I'd like to I'd like to end it. I, that's right. Let's let's put an end to this. Let's get a blue check mark next to Mikey Wright's name, the Hitman dude. And so look, I was looking through this process. I was reading articles and everything you do, and I'm going through your profile. And from you check the boxes almost everywhere, right? Your profile's active, okay? You you have other verified accounts, or you're associated with other verifieds, dude. You got a nice cover photo that shows you're doing something important. You got your job title, award-winning podcast. You check all the boxes that they look for. Now, the unique variable, and as you well knows, every month you have to submit a 500-word paragraph explaining why you deserve to be verified. So can I ask, what, have you, humiliating. what have you been writing in this space these past few months? Oh, I've, I've tried everything, man. At, at this point, I've, I've gone the uh, complete butt sniffer of, oh, I am so very important to my podcast. It's won so many, so many awards. I've gone... Uh, you know, I'm a 
We love Twitter. We use it all the time. That's how we talk to the fans. I've gone, uh, there's, there's imposters of my account, and I want to make sure people know it's me. I've, I've gone through uh, literally any, any angle that I've been able to think of. Maybe you have a, a different angle. Well, this is the thing. Like, it, you know, uh, I think it was Marshall McLuhan who once said it's the medium, not the message, right? And I'm concerned that you're trying to just do what everybody else does. Like, when you want a job, like when when Legally Blondes wanted that job, she made a a, a rose scented scratch and sniff resume to stand out. And I feel like what you need here is a submission that stands out beyond the written word. How do you send smell across the internet? Well, that's that's very interesting. You know, I wasn't thinking that for you. I was just using Miss <laughs> Reith Witherspoons as like an illustration, dude. Oh, okay. But what I'm thinking is that we make you like a video audition tape. So in that little box, you just put the link to this video, and maybe they're not used to getting a video submission. Yeah, we can try that. Uh, there was someone started a, a very kind fan started an official, you know, those White House petitions oh yeah yeah people yeah. they started a petition i got a couple hundred signatures I, I think i forgot to send it in last time but okay. but if, hey you know a video we know that, that we're a visual uh visual society that videos can condemn videos can lift up so maybe maybe we can do some positive things here that's right and like you a lot of the elements the angles that you've tried i think you're on the right track and we're going to kind of like combine all of those into like an audition submission tape. I'm going to set music to it. We're going to cut it up and Ooh, we're going to, okay. we're going to get you something that really makes you stand out. And you haven't seen this, but I'm going to send you, there's three little parts to this and I'm going to send you the first block of text and I need you to channel your inner actor. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need okay. you to be getting the character. So for this first one, I need you to channel like you are Liam Neeson's in the movie taken. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. All and right. I, and I just slid into your DMS with this first oh, careful with that i know dude i just slid in there i said i wasn't a twitter guy but uh i somehow slid in now yeah, you know the lingo though oh yeah dude oh yeah me dude i'm sliding into chicks dms all day dude <laughs> um okay so i sent you over this first box of text and i want you to do a quick once over and then i want you to look in the camera and i want you to recite the first half of this monologue in a very serious gravitas okay uh <clears throat> do my best here I mean, Liam, so that's a tough one, but. I don't know what you want, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills, skills I have acquired over a very long career. If you verify me now, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you and I will kill you slash leave you for Facebook. Dude, you nailed it. I thought we were going to have to Was do a couple it? takes, dude. You crushed it. Okay, right. we're going to move right on to the second portion here. And this, are you a fan of the uh, TV show Mad Men's? Uh, if by fan you mean never have seen it, then yes. Okay, that's that's close. But are you familiar <laughs> with our John Hams, the great actor? I'm, I believe there is a uh, Dom Draper. Is that, his, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. what he goes by? You got it, dude. Dom Draper. All right. But basically, there's a scene in one of the early seasons of Mad Men's where he pitches this idea to this ad agency for a commercial, dude. So that's what I want you to think of right now. This is like very inspirational. This is like you're trying okay. to sell something. You're trying to give this the grand importance it deserves. I just sent you this little quick monologue. Here you go. Okay. <clears throat> let me let me read over this. Has anyone ever asked you what's in that box behind Wh you? Which box, dude? Yeah, you got like a steel uh, suitcase, or, oh, or uh, not suitcase, a briefcase that uh, either contains ten thousand dollars or just very important documents of some kind. It's I mean, there's got to be something good in there. But Mr. Hitman's dude, we're trying to dispel this myth that you're wondering <laughs> what's like in these briefcases. This isn't gonna help your cause, dude. It's just poker oh, chips. It's I, just I, poker I, chips. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Let me read over this this memo over here. Yes. All right. Sure. Remember, this is like. You're sitting in front of a client and you have the pitch for an ad about Twitter. In this, you're selling how Twitter is so important. Okay. I think, uh, <clears throat> all right. I think we can do this. All right. Are we, are we ready? It's all We're you. Rolling? I'm going to be quiet. We're rolling. Right. Twitter isn't a media, it's social media, it's a community, it's a water cooler. It takes strangers and makes them family. 
It's not a feed, it's a stream. We float the way. A child floats in the water, splashing, smiling, faving, retweeting, and moving to a place where we all know we are loved. Oh, the standing ovation. Dude, you got the standing O, dude. That moved me to tears, dude. Look at we are putting together the pieces. The people might not realize this. At the end, we're going to put this full video here with music, dude. We are building the foundation for verification. Do you see where this is going, Mike? You see why this I, is going to work? I, I, I feel it. I, I, I think I have a sense for what you're doing. I hope you're doing YouTube safe uh, music so we're not just going to get muted. Oh, don't worry, dude. I'm uh, I'm like very above board. I'm subscribed to these royalty free stuff. Like, don't worry. I pay good there, money you, for this music. You're on though. the up and up. That's what's in the uh, that briefcase back there. Exactly. It's all uh, your music contracts. It's all the music. They're actually vinyls. I, I rip them right <laughs> from the vinyl. <laughs> you got three vinyls in there. I got three vinyls. I use the same songs, dude. It's uh, it, you have. Well, I mean, you have "Staying Alive." Yes. You have uh, "Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head." That you got it. And then uh, I, I imagine the last one's like uh, what, Barry Manilow. You do it, Mandy. I, Mandy. Hang on one sec. <laughs> I'm very sorry, excited. I, I, I'm sorry. I was trying. I thought I had it, dude. I just, I thought I had the Barry Manilow. The best I can pull out uh, is Simon and Gar Garfunkel's for you, dude. Oh, oh, right, dude. Bridge over troubled water. Exactly, dude. Yeah. That's I'm not so, a problem. I thought I had a Barry Manilow. That was going to be so serendipitous. That was going to be amazing. Okay, so we're, we're, we're now at the very end, dude, and this is going to be a very quick to the point. And this is more, this is where you look to the camera. I'm going to actually have you, it's just a sentence, so I'm going to have okay. you kind of memorize this so you can do it without even having to look at the script. So you can just completely, this is just Mike Wright. You're not putting on a character. You're not channeling anyone. You're just Am I reading this verbatim? You're reading this verbatim, but I want you to kind of memorize it real quickly so you can look directly into the camera and say this like you believe it. All right. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll, I, this one might take a couple, but we'll see. That's what fine. We can yeah, do we can here. do a couple takes. All right. All right. <laughs> so I'm asking you today, Twitter, to verify me. Mike Wright, at FF Hitman. It may just be one small blue check for you, but it's one giant blue check for Mark Wright. Dude, you're close. You're close. So it's one small oh, check for Mark Wright, Mark but Wright. it's a okay, giant okay. leap for mankind, right. dude. Okay, I got okay, it. We got it. We got it. So I'm asking you, Twitter, today to verify me, Mike Wright, at FF Hitman. It may be one small blue check for Mark Wright, but one giant check for mankind. There it is, dude. Uh, I said check instead of leap, but whatever. No, dude, I it's, it's good. I actually good? Like, I like that punch up. Actually, it probably should be it's, two checks. Actually, do you want to? Do you want to do? Bill Clinton coming through? Yeah. I was I was wagging the. Uh... Hang on. Actually, let's do one more. Like where you really get into it. This is the end of the okay. movie. The symphony is swelling. Okay. All right. This is my Bill Pullman. Exactly. All right. All right. So I'm asking you today, Twitter, to verify me, Mike Wright, at FF Hitman. This may be one small blue check for Mark Wright, but it's one giant leap for mankind. There it is, dude. That's the Oscar right there. That's the blue check mark, dude. You just earned the blue check mark right there. Should I go check my page? Dude, well, okay. You know, it wasn't quite instantaneous. Actually, by the time oh, this comes oh. out, but look. I'm going to cut this into a video, dude, and it is going to inspire the people at Twitter's, dude. They cannot deny this, all right? I cannot wait. This better go viral. Dude, it's going viral, dude, and um, this is like, in this day and age, dude, like, we're all activists, dude. We all have to invoke change, and, like, you and I are, like, using our time to, like, invoke, like, very, real change in the world. things right now. Excellent, dude. Well, look, how are you feeling about this? You feeling good? I, I feel, you know... 45 55 not bad not oh, good okay all right you're feeling pretty average i was hoping you would feel like i got this like there's no way i'm never gonna get verified not get verified but you still i'll, seem... I'll switch it 51 51 49 so we're, we're over halfway is okay. that good that's good i'll take it i'll take it well dude 
uh, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, cut this up into the video, dude. Um, if you're watching right now, just keep watching at the end of the uh, the credits. I'll throw the finished throw the finished video at the end, and we'll also get this uploaded on Twitter individually so Mike can share this with his peers, his followers, and most importantly, the people behind the shady operation known as Twitter verification. I'm glad that uh, that this viral, at least this hopefully viral video can uh, have me in such good lighting that I look like I'm from the Twilight series. I look like a vampire. Why didn't? Why did you not tell me that I look like a vampire right now? No, dude, you look good. And like Twitter wants you to be the man of the people. You're selling them on being a man of the people. Like if you were in some, if you were in your nice studios. Like they might think like this guy's like hoity toity, but that's this is like point. gritty. This is raw. That's that's an excellent point. So you you've talked me off the ledge. Okay, good. And I I would say we could plug your Twitter handle, but I think we've done that like nineteen times. Is there <laughs> yeah, FF Hitman? There there it is. Twenty ding ding ding. Uh is there anything else you'd like to plug? People need to watch the fantasy football guys. You are the best in the business. <laughs> what else? Yeah, the fantasy football guys are pretty solid. You can also check out the fantasy footballers. They're oh, pretty good, too. Okay, dude. I, I get confused, dude. There's so many of you guys and footballers, dude. I'm sorry. It's all fantasy football something. But we I'm... Just added errs. From my, from my experience, dude, if you type fantasy football into iTunes, don't worry. They're going to land on you, dude. Yeah, that's that's the goal. That's the goal. Well, awesome, dude. Well, I really appreciate you coming on, dude. Uh, you know, we do a lot of meaningless stuff around here, but this is, like, finally my chance to, like, give back to the community and give back to the fantasy footballers. Oh no, I, I appreciate it, and we'll uh, we'll get you some some uh, we'll get me a verification, and we'll get you some sleeves. Awesome, dude. Yeah, you know what? Like I I'll, I'll put them on my set, dude. I'll put them back there with the vinyls. I can't promise that I'll wear them, but like the gesture will not be lost on me. <laughs> That's good. I appreciate it. All right, thank you everybody for tuning in. Mike writes, he's about to be verified. Get on the train. <laughs> choo choo. I don't know what you want, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. If you verify me now, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Slash leave you for Facebook. Twitter isn't a media. It's social media it's a community it's a water cooler it takes strangers and makes them family it's not a feed it's a stream we float the way a child floats in the water splashing smiling faving retweeting and moving to a place where we all know we are loved so i'm asking you today twitter to verify me mike wright at ff hitman this may be one small blue check for Mark Wright, but it's one giant leap for mankind 